A few months ago, Danny hopped on the channel and couldn't stop talking to you about his Betnardi wedges. Well, today he has opted out of the Betnardi wedges and into Callaway Jaws MD5. Today he's going to tell us why. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, joined today by Danny Farrell, Master Club Fitter at Minnetonka, outside on the driving range today. And you've got some new wedges in the bag, Danny. And so today we wanted to educate the viewers a little bit on wedge decision making, really, and why you're switching out of these Bet Nardi wedges that you loved so much mm -hmm. and into the Jaws MD5s that you got now. Well, you can see I still have them, so I might not totally get okay. rid of them. But so why I made the change. Right? By looking at just the shape of the wedges themselves, this is as close as I could get to the shape that I absolutely adored with Bettinardi. Okay. Okay. And they're forged as well. So I didn't sacrifice much feel there. Sure. Now, with the shafts that are in there, you'll notice, you know, Memorial Day coming up, <laughs> red, white, and blue. Yeah. Okay. So I had the KBS Tour stiffs in there. Um, it was just a little bit rigid for me. It mm -hmm. was hard. Like, I love the feel off the head. Shaft-wise, I was always searching for something else. Okay. And I believe I found it with Callaway. Okay. Okay. So we actually changed up the shafts from steel to graphite. So we'll get in and use TrackMan, start getting some data and support my decision. Sure, yeah, because that's one of those things you don't see graphite shafts in wedges a lot. And so mm -hmm. I did want to kind of get your opinion on, uh, you know, maybe even before we do some testing here, yeah. what your thought is on that decision to put graphite shafts into your wedges, and maybe is that something more golfers should consider? Absolutely. I mean, everybody that's tuned into the channel knows I have some back issues, right? So anything rigid, anything really firm is going to play it, you know, and have some fatigue on my back. Mm -hmm. And with wedges, we use them quite a bit, yeah. right? Almost every single hole. So I wanted to change up the feel, make something a little bit smoother. And I absolutely love the feel of my Callaway irons with the MMTs in there mm -hmm. too. So it was a pretty easy decision to put their scoring wedge in there, the 125 TX. So new for 2022 is that shaft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody else is about 120, 130 in weight, depending on manufacturer. Um, even some are a little bit lighter in steel. Yep. But now you know, more companies are putting graphite in to chase that smoother feel for players that I was looking for. So this is really, really exciting. I think I might have just one or two ball marks on them. So they're <laughs> they're fresh. They're fresh. And yeah. one more thing too, you mentioned was the gapping as well. Because oh, you've yeah. been kind of making that decision between, you know, the gap iron with the set, gap iron, or the, excuse me, the gap wedge with your right. wedge set. So right. uh, I think this may be helped with that decision as well. Absolutely. I mean, I, I play the, um, the Apex Pro mm -hmm. and uh, the attack wedge there as well. So that's 50 degrees on the head. And I always fought myself on, should I pull the bed in already 50 degree or play the, the gap wedge out of the set? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't play in uh, the fairway woods. I don't have anything higher than a seven. So I've got some room in my bag. So what ended up happening is I completely changed the setup. I added more bounce to all the wedges as well to get ready for a, a different part of the country that I'll yeah. be going to. Yeah, and I changed everything up as well. I took that, that gap wedge that was giving me problems at 50 degree. I tuned that down to 48. Okay. So then that opened the door to go back to my conventional wedge setup I've always played, 52, 56, and 60. So, you know, I was always in between yardages. I couldn't get comfortable with comfortable with those, but now this gapping, which will, you know, confirm with TrackMan, should be ideal and the feel should be out of this world. I love that. Well, let's do some testing here. We'll talk about that gapping element and we'll get your opinion on that feel as well. That kind of that, that change from the steel to the graphite. And I think uh, viewers will be intrigued by that. So let's Absolutely. get to it. Yeah, that sounded pretty good. Oh yeah. Better than the number. So Danny, uh, talk to me about that club and what you know, what distance does that fulfill in your bag? Uh, typically, I play this to about 117 okay. in carry, pretty close to that. Um, that's just a stock kind of comfortable move at it. Obviously, I can change and get an extra five, mm -hmm. or, you know, on either side if I want, but pretty comfortable stock, 117, 120, somewhere mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, we got an, actual, an average carry here of 122.8, uh, but all three of them were pretty close. I mean, you got 122.2, yeah. 124, 122.4, so. And that's pretty good out pretty of repeatable. a, a man, manufacturer wedge, right. right? Everybody always says the gap wedge isn't as consistent as, you know, a, a different manufacturer wedge. Right, right. Callaway's 
I was saying differently. That's three shots that were within two yards of each other on the carry. So mm -hmm. with that said, now I know the gapping piece is something that we maybe want to showcase here a little bit sure. because so you have that club now i think it's it comes at 50 yep but you've got it down to 48 now. yeah yeah and so now you can kind of play with hitting that 50 degree that you had in the past i know that was a decision you had to make yep and then maybe we'll hit the 52 to showcase the gapping and why having four to six degrees yeah. in between is probably the right move let's do it felt good but i feel like that it you know, went almost the same distance as that 48. Yeah, it, the carry was 121. Yep. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. so you see my, my dilemma. Yep. And that was even at 48 degrees with the gap wedge, 50 degrees here, mm -hmm. and it's still close. Right. Imagine how close they were at 50 and 50, right? <laughs> you right. see my dilemma. So we'll hit one more with this. Oh, I love that feel. And see, that's the dilemma, part of the dilemma too. Probably is you know having the the feel like the feel of the the wedge and the the forged wedge, right? Mm -hmm. Versus the kind of the wedge with the iron set. It's right. very different. Yes. And so like even those two shots, that one was a carry of 116. So yep. you've got a small well actually 114.6. But you, so you got a small gap there of yeah. about six yards. Not enough. From that shot and then the previous shot was 121. So yep. on average, you're carrying that club 118 yards. Yeah, that's and you're just, carrying not enough the other deviation. One yeah. So I've got two things doing the same thing. Right. Right. So, right. so now, just for fun, we'll hit the 52 degree a few okay. times. Okay. We'll see that gapping, and then I also want to get some thoughts too, because that was a that's a steel shafted yep. 50 degree wedge, and I also yep. want to get your thoughts on now moving to the graphite yes. in that wedge as well. Can't wait. Oh yeah. It seemed better already distance wise and mm -hmm. boy was that smooth for a first date. Yeah. It felt completely different than what I'm used to mm -hmm. with that heavy steel. Right. Wow. Wow. Okay. There's a lot more free flowing. You're not, and then you mentioned rigid, right? Was the right. word you said to describe the steel shaft. So this one allows you to, is it, yeah, I mean, is it just more free flowing? I guess is the term that comes to my mind, but. Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm always looking for stability here, yeah. but it's a different kind of stability. It's hard to put it in words, uh, but it, it feels stable. It's just as heavy as the other one, but it just kicks at a little bit different point. And you know, graphite too dampens the shock, yeah. right? So I barely felt anything on yeah. that ball, which is exactly what I wanted. Mm. So really, really good. Oh my gosh. That was pure. Club twirl. <laughs> uh, face was open there. So, three good ones there. Yeah. And, I mean, we kind of are showcasing the, the gapping uh, and why it's important. Because, mm -hmm. so, with the uh, wedge in the set, which is now yeah. 48 degrees, that yep. attack wedge, that gap wedge, that's at 48, 122.8 yep. carry. Okay. Uh, with the 50 degree that you previously had in the bag, 117.8 carry. Okay. And then 113.3 now with this 52 degree. Bingo. And so now I imagine, what would what do you got now for 56 degree on your carry? Is that going to be about 105-ish or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I, I play that stock as a 100 yard stick. Okay. You know, that's a, a pin seeker for me. So smooth yep. swing, right. you know, 100 yards. If yep. I want to step on it, 105 yep. probably. And so, and, and I'm thinking about, you know, if let's say you had a 122 and a one. 18 mm -hmm. then going down to 100 is going to be a you know you got that 108 yard range for example if you're out on the course that's going to be difficult for you to navigate absolutely for here now you 52 it's a little bit more manageable when your carry on that is around 113. you're spot on and you know with with little practice i can't get too crafty with those other wedges those half swings grip down right no i just want to you know full send at at the wedge mm -hmm. right so that's why we stagger the lofts better and trackman's proven that to be the case too so absolutely we made a smart move we have made a smart move and so now what we're going to have to do is uh maybe during the summer sometime we'll have to get together and we'll maybe see how the progress is going on the wedges sure. see how you see how they're doing for you because uh like we always talk about on the channel the wedges are your scoring clubs mm -hmm. i know if you talk to larry bobka a little bit he'll tell you all day about why <laughs> wedges are important why the bounce is important and so you've made those adjustments uh in your bag and so i'm sure it was tough to say goodbye to the betonardis but you got to do what you got to do to help your game. Absolutely. And I mean, you, you brought up the great point, scoring. This is a scoring wedge shaft. Yeah. Right? So scoring wedge shafts, beautiful head, similar shape to Bettinardi. Love the feel. Guys, if we're looking to kind of dampen that feel, make the wedge smoother for you, 
I'd highly recommend putting graphite in play, or at least giving it an option, stomping it into the tour van, get fit for some wedges, talk to the fitter, and let, let them know, hey, I've got some back issues or I'm chasing a different field. If you're not open about that during a fitting, a fitter isn't gonna know that, mm -hmm. right? So you gotta be open, we're here to help. Awesome, Danny, thanks for your insight today. Thanks Always. for showing us a little bit inside your bag. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know we're very excited to see how those do for you this year. Golfers, like he said, if you're intrigued about maybe some changes to your bag, could be the wedges, could be elsewhere in the bag, uh, stop in, talk to one of our fitters and we'll help you out and get you set up with the right clubs for your swing.